Is that the one you got from Colt? The one you got in the creek with Cole and Jay? Yep. You think he's going to swim? He looks like a sinking turtle. So what's up guys? We are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring, ring the notification bell and like this video so you'll never miss, an, miss another video that we post. Today, it's been a while since we've seen beer. That's surprising. Hey, and got girl. So what are we doing today, Houston? We're setting up my big pool pond. Pool pond? Well, not pool pond. You're going to go swimming? It's a cattle pond. It's a cattle pond. A cattle pond? So you're putting cows in a pond? No. Man, I'm confused. What are you doing? It's a cattle trough, but I'm using it as a fish tank. Dogs, what is going on with y'all? That's right. So for about three years now, Houston's been on me about building him a fish pond. Like a legit fish pond that he can have decent sized big pet fish in basically and i put him off and put him off and didn't want to do it and didn't want to do it and uh, he's had little little tubs on the porch not really aquariums but just they had crawfish and bluegill and catfish and we've done that stuff for a couple years so now i guess it's time houston yeah we're putting together your first fish pond yep yeah. well technically my second because of that little one up there. Yeah, I mean, it's first real one. Yeah. yeah. So this is a used cattle trough that Houston bought for $50 with your own money, right? Mm-hmm. And it's eight foot. It's an eight foot diameter cattle trough and two feet tall. So if my calculations are correct, or Google is correct, actually, <laughs> <laughs> it should be about 700 gallons. So we've already got it started. The dogs are... Our, the dogs are loving the new environment out here, aren't you, Earl? So yesterday, Houston and I came out here. We're basically just right behind the house. I mean, there's the house, outdoor shower, hot tub. We're literally like 10 feet away. That's right. So we had to have close access to electricity and water. Yes. And the ground is not exactly flat out here, as you can see. So Houston and I came over yesterday with the tractor and hauled some sand in that we had left over from our shop build and uh, leveled out a spot made it nice and soft so that uh, the water will actually be somewhat level in this trough and we just went ahead and started filling it up we didn't want to bore you guys with trying to level out the pad and all that we're we've never put water in it this is a used trough so we're hoping it doesn't leak right mm -hmm. so yesterday we came in and we re silicone the seal around the bottom port took out some of the old silicone put some new silicone in it is a little bit dirty right now the bottom of it's a little dirty but we're gonna go ahead and start filling it up and we will eventually be putting all kinds of cool stuff in here we're probably gonna get some creek rock and go down the creek with the tractor scoop it up and get it good and clean as best we can and add some creek rock in here like creek gravel so it looks fairly natural and then we'll build some habitat in there probably put some plants in do some different stuff but today is all about getting it set up getting the filter and the pump everything going and I don't have any uh, dechlorinator to put in there right now. So what we're gonna do is hook the pump up and hook the, uh, the filter up and let it, let it filter for several days, maybe even up to a week or so. And it should be good. I may get some dechlorinator before we decide to add any fish, but we're gonna wait at least a week before we add any fish to it, right? Yeah. So here's what we bought. I just went on Amazon. This actually came from the Pond Guy, which is a website you can go on and check out the Pond Guy. And they've got everything you could imagine for fish ponds. Yeah, yeah. And, He's uh, the number one guy. For number one fish, guy, huh? For fish ponds. So we bought these on Amazon, but that they're sold through the pond guy. So this is the solid flow pump and a Simply Clear filter with the wow. UV filter. So we're hoping this will keep the pond nice and clean. This pump yes. and filter are made for ponds up to, I believe, about 1,200 gallons. Wow. Yeah, right there. It says right there. Filters up to 1,250 gallons of water. So we're only at about 700, so we should do good there. So what all are you wanting to put in this pond, Houston? Bat, sm small bass, small bass, because I don't want it. I don't want them to eat a lot of like smaller stuff. So I'm gonna try to keep a small bass, some big bluegill, all kinds of stuff. Y'all see? Maybe some bullhead catfish. Yep. Probably your uh, goldfish that are on the porch. They're pretty good size now. Yeah, they're big. 
Let's see. What about your turtle that you found? Your red-edged oh, slider that you found yeah. at Colin Jay's. Yeah. So about that, I might put it in here, but probably not because me and my dad are like next week. I think maybe we're gonna try to build a turtle enclosure. So. Yeah, but that's gonna be more for like a box turtles, not not a not a water turtle. Yeah, but I might I might put them in here. But I'm not positive that I will put it in here. Okay. So right now we're just going to wait on this to fill up. Houston and I actually have haircut appointments. we got to go get a haircut. So we're going to let this thing fill up. We'll come back later this evening and show you how we're going to install the pump, the filter, and, you know, try it. We're learning as we go. We're not experts. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. But uh, it can't be that difficult. We've watched it on YouTube a thousand times, haven't we, buddy? Mm-hmm. Anyway, and I also have a baseball game. Yeah, so we got a small window of time today between a haircut and a baseball appointment, but we're going to get this thing set up and let it start filtering and doing its thing and uh, building that beneficial bacteria in your filter and all that stuff. And then hopefully within a week or so, we'll have some fish in here. All right, well, Houston and I are back with our fabulous haircuts. Do we look different? Does Houston look different? Ooh, nice dude. So, our tub's just about full. It's got about six or so more inches to go. And I figure we'll go ahead and get our pump in and our filter hooked up. So the first thing we did was make sure we're, we're plugged into a outdoor GFCI outlet so that, I mean, this stuff's gonna be exposed to water, obviously. Our pump's actually going to be submerged down in the water and it has a cord. So I think what we're gonna do is install everything back here on the back side and the pump will actually go on the inside of the pump but we'll have the filter and everything back here just to kind of keep it you know prettier from the front side so it's a really simple basic install there's not much to it we've got the pump and the filter and some hose to cook hook it together I almost said to cook it together Houston so whoops I did test the pump out a little bit earlier but this pump is submergible we'll throw it in We'll put uh, this hose, we'll just clamp on here. And then the other end, I'm gonna shorten this. We won't have 20 feet of hose. One end goes on one side of the filter. And then we have another hose that comes on. This is actually the outflow. So inflow, outflow, yep. And then this side will come out with another hose and go back in. So it makes a loop. The water makes a loop, goes through the filter, and gets it, cleaned. And it goes to me with the fish. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> the hose wants to float because it's full it's full of air, it don't have water in it yet. <laughs> Probably end up making that a little shorter, but we're gonna start right there. This one goes to the water inside. Push that up on there as far as we can. All right, we got the pump submerged in the water. We're still not quite full, like about four inches or so. Houston's almost ready to test this thing out. Now we will obviously do a little better job of cleaning up hoses and cords and stuff. We're just testing it out right now. I don't know how long I wanna leave this hose and that one. So my original plan was to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do all this in PVC pipe, come out of the pump. It's more rigid, clean, and go straight in. I'm having some hard time, having some difficulties finding the right kind of fittings to match the threads to go from this it's like a one inch thread to pvc and what i have found so far doesn't quite uh fit on that so we'll work on that we'll get it set up right now we're just testing everything out making sure the pump works right the filter works right and uh mainly just letting this water set for several days to get the chlorine evaporated out of it so we'll get her turned on and see what it does houston mm -hmm. well finally 
got this ready <laughs> got it all hooked up got everything plugged into a uh, hmm got everything plugged into the circuit breaker the circuit didn't come on oh it's not plugged it's plugged in up there we're plugged in here we don't have power here i bet you the breakers turned off in the house or need to flip the switch on the gfci let's go test it i bet this is the problem right here yep i bet you we gotta reset that yep we got a green light there now houston okay now let me go to it You hear the pump yet? Holy moly, we got power. I hear it going. <laughs> we got one water leak to fix so far. Well, that's getting heavy. That's heavy. Look at there. We've got water flowing. Nice. So one thing we're gonna have to do because i like i said i wanted to do this in pvc pipe and i was going to have it come up and out to a t and then drill a bunch of holes and let it all fall in similar to a waterfall not exactly a waterfall mm -hmm. but what we may do with this houston and i were talking is just drill a small hole and at least drill a small hole just i don't know right under that round lip to where this can actually make a little bit of a ripple there to help oxygenate the water a little better what do you think mm -hmm. Well, it's not perfect, but it'll work for now. Like I said, I really do want to come back and redo this in PVC. So one thing I did just to kind of help clean things up and keep things protected a little bit was take one of these old molasses tubs from a cattle tub and uh, cut the side out of it and just cover everything up so that it's a, a little bit more protected, a little bit more hidden. And uh, even though we're plugged into that GFCI plug on the porch, I still don't want that uh, that little switch to be uh, rained on and stuff. So I put it in a Ziploc bag. What do you got? A turtle. Where in the world did you get that turtle? Is that the one you got from Colt? And when you got in the creek with Colin Jay? Yep. You think he's gonna swim? He looks like a sinking turtle. <laughs> hey, you can't just leave him. Oh, hey. there he goes. He took off, didn't he? Yeah. We can't just leave him in there right now because turtles have to be able to get out on the on the shore or up on a log or something, you know. Mm -hmm. But you watch him swim around for a minute. Oh, it's so funny. The current's gonna portion him. <laughs> I think he's swimming against the current, isn't he? Yeah. Here he comes for some air. Oh, you got this, buddy. Oh, no. So, as you can see, we did zip tie that hose and it just kind of trickles in there. So, I put it to where it's kind of at an angle and kind of keep this stuff flowing in, in a circular motion. The pump's over there. I wanted the pump kind of on the opposite side of where the the uh, inflow is. Look at him. He come up for air. Yeah. He's a swimmer, isn't he? Yeah. At first, he wasn't sure about it, but now he's like, oh, this is so fun. You're getting him some exercise, huh? Mm-hmm. Burning them calories. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm thinking we might do, Houston, eventually, we'll obviously put some plants and things in here. Look at him over there. Be still, he keeps coming up to get air. Like put a cement block um, island? Well, we may do like a concrete block island or build something that floats so that it goes up and down with the water level. And if you put a turtle or two in here, they'll be able to get up on it and rest and relax and we can feed the turtles on that, kind of separate from the fish. Oh yeah. Look at him. He's like, guys, this is so fun. So we definitely, I'm just not a fan of using these black hoses. This is not the correct hose, honestly. We ordered the right kind of hose, but it, it said it delivered, but it never showed up. So this is just a sump pump hose for temporary use. But I would like to, like I said, just 
clean it up by having just two pieces of PVC pipe. One comes up and over and goes in to the pump, and then one that was just like a just replaces that. And then we could spray paint it to match this. Kind of clean it up and make it pretty, but look at him. He's <laughs> having so much fun. He's just cruising around, didn't he? Yep. Looking for somewhere to go. All dressed up and nowhere to go, huh? Well, we'll have to hey, we'll have to catch him and put him back in your in your tub though. Yep. Buddy, that's probably the cleanest water that little red ear slider's ever seen. You know it. Mm-hmm. Probably so. So that's our first adventure into building our own little pool pond. Did you come back up? Okay. So I'll leave links in the description box if you're looking for the pump and the filter and stuff. This is just a eight foot circular cattle trough that we bought used. And uh, like I said, we're gonna let it set for probably a week or so before we start adding fish and things. And I don't know, it's just something Houston's wanted to do. And uh, we're just trying it out. So are you happy? Yes, I am. All right, well, we got our little red ear slider put back in a nice little habitat. Got water to play in. So he's good now. So we're total novices when it comes to this backyard pool pond stuff. We're going to learn as we go and just document and show you guys. So let us know in the comment section what you think Houston should put in this pool yeah. or pond or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I think for sure we're going to do some some bass. bass and some sunfish bluegill red ear i don't know whatever we can catch i think we should probably get some of our tilapia out of our oh, bass pond to put in there cool. and it could keep the moss off cool. yeah they do eat, they do eat algae and stuff but my thought is with the tilapia if we put a few of them in here they're supposed to spawn every three weeks so that would be a lot of tiny little bait really? fish to feed the bass and stuff are you serious every three weeks every three weeks they breed fast. Yep. So that would be good bait fish. And then, you know, the next step is then we've got to go out and catch bait to feed his bass and whatever else, catfish, whatever he puts in there. So that'll be more creek trapping videos and I don't know what all else we can find to feed them. And I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what Houston can grow. I don't know what we'll do in the wintertime. You can buy stock tank heaters to put in these things to keep them warm. We don't get like super cold for very long at a time. This year, uh, this year it got it really cold. It went crazy. It this went thing would have probably been, toast. Uh, if not completely frozen, at least three quarters of the way solid ice for about a week. But that's pretty rare. So we'll see. I, I think a stock tank heater or two added in there would probably be just fine. Who knows? We may end up doing something in the shop with a different little tank that we could overwinter fish in in there. I, I don't know. This is this is Houston's deal, but we're just trying to figure it all out huh mm -hmm. so anyways there's our first ever pool pond anything you want to say um drop a comment for what kind of fish we should put in i got a couple fish on mine but i don't have a lot so y'all please give me a comment i know i'm probably not gonna put some big bass in because i don't want to I don't want them to kill the small fish that I have. So, I guess y'all should comment, suggest some fish, and I guess we're gonna finish this video. So guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>
He's definitely changing colors. Mm -hmm. He was a lot darker. He's going to be gray like your daddy, huh? Let me see if we can pick him up. No. 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 Hey, buddy. No. He's like, what is this woman doing to me? He knows. <laughs> what? I want it. I want him to get out of the mud so we can run around. No, you're not. Like, you're not going through there. <laughs> You just want to stay in, don't you? You don't even want to get out. <laughs>